Hey, it's Cobra here at MaddenGuides.com, and for this Madden Tips a video breakdown, I want to show you four-man pass rush from the 5-2 formation. What this is about is showing you how to get pressure with only four defensive linemen and still allow you to get uh, seven defenders dropping back in coverage. And you can do this from several of the plays within the 5-2, and that's what I want to show you. So let's go ahead and get into the uh, play art as far as on the play call screen here. So you can actually look at the formation itself and kind of you know see how the five two looks like, and as you know, five two has been a long, a long, been a while for a long time in Madden. So it's not something that most of us don't uh, see. Now over the years, it's had some several different things you can do to get pressure from this particular formation. And this year, I just want to show you something that I found that I think does work pretty good, and it's not too hard to set up. So with that said, what I want you guys to do real quick before we get into this uh, particular formation breakdown and show you the formation itself and then actually get in and show you how to get pressure with the four-man pass rush is one of the things I did with the 49ers is that I went ahead and did some subs. I want to show those to you guys just briefly here so you guys can get an idea. The 49ers have three really, really good defensive linemen on their team. So I put Bolsa. He's going to stay at right in. And then I moved Armstead into the uh, nose tackle position, and then I moved forward into the left end spot. So if you have a team that has some good pass rushers on the defensive line, consider doing this because I think this is going to make it a little bit more effective as far as getting pressure on a quarterback. Now, the other thing I did is I moved the linebackers that I had that were remaining on the uh, 49ers team, and what I did was I wouldn't head, as you look at it, just put some linebackers here on the outside at the defensive end spot. So here I've got uh, Greenlaw. He's a left outside linebacker. And then I moved the other one here, which is this, I can't even pronounce this guy's name. But anyway, I moved him over to the left outside linebacker spot. You know, if you got some good linebackers and you get them in here, go ahead and put them at the defensive end spots. That's going to help you out as far as allowing you to get some pressure on a quarterback. So, uh, or at least drop them back in, in pass coverage. And here you really don't need uh, – Really, with this one, you only really only need one of those uh, defensive ends or to drop back that I got as a linebacker spot. For example, as you look at this, this uh, particular defender, one I've already mentioned, he's not going to actually rush the quarterback. He's actually going to be the extra defender that we're going to have that's going to drop back into pass coverage. And again, we're only going to have four pass rushers. So I want to point that out to you. All right, what I want to do here now is I want to go ahead and get on the screen here and just kind of walk you through it as far as what the setup here goes. And we're going to start off here with the cover one out of the 5-2 normal. That's just a – pretty much can run this from several different plays within the 5-2 normal, what I'm about to show. So let's go ahead and get on the field here. As far as on the offensive side of the ball, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the gun doubles, uh, the mesh play out of the Cardinals play, playbook. By the way, if you're following along, the 5-2 formation that you're going to – the playbook you're going to want to use just to get into it and get pretty quick without having to dig around trying to find a 5-2 is go into the multiple D playbook because that's where you'll find it. So here's the uh, here's the cover one defense from the 5-2. And as you'll note here as you look at it, you'll have five pass rushers that are rushing the quarterback. And here's your five right there. As I said before, we're not going to have all five of these guys rush. We're actually going to drop one back into pass coverage. And as you know, as a cover one, you have one defender, in this case, is going to be the safety here that's going to be playing the uh, deep middle. And then, of course, you're going to have, you know, four or five other defenders, excuse me, that are going to be in man coverage, as you can see with this particular defense. So that's the setup right there as far as at least the uh, breakdown of the cover one. Now, as far as the setup goes, it's pretty simple to do. What you got to do is go ahead and press left on your D-pad. And then this is going to bring up this screen right here as you're looking at it. What we want here is the slant inside. So we're going to go ahead and press down on the right stick. And then that's going to bring this up right here as you look at it. Now what this is going to do, and what you're going to find is, you're going to find there's actually going to be a stunt that's going to be created between these two defensive linemen here. So you're going to have this guy and this guy. You're actually going to see a stunt, and that's what helps with this particular pass rush I'm about to show. So you'll see that this guy goes that direction, which is going to be the right end, and then the nose tackle goes this way. The nose tackle actually go before the right end does. And the other thing that we need to do, and this is the other, only other part of the setup that you got to do for sure, is to go ahead and put this guy. Again, this is the one that I'm in control of. He's going to be, the, uh, in this case, the left end. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and put him in QB spy. 
Now, you don't have to put these guys in QB contain or anything like that. Just put them in QB spy, and you're good. Like I said, if you got a fast left end there, and say they got a fast quarterback, and you got a fast linebacker that you can put at the left end spot, you probably might want to do that because that's going to give you an extra, you know, give you the defender is going to build a spot at quarterback. So making it a little bit harder for them to take off and run. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and snap the ball. Now, one of the things about this particular defense. I cannot tell you which one of these defenders is going to get the pressure on a quarterback, but generally it's one of these three, and you're going to find maybe even two of them get in. And I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. And it's pretty fairly consistent, and that's why I wanted to go ahead and break this down for you guys so you guys can see it. And you can see right there we get pressure coming from the inside right there, and I believe that was from looks like Armstead is the guy that we didn't get in pressure. So it was this guy right here. We're going to go back an instant replay. He's the one that breaks through and gets pressure. Now I also want to show you – as we go through here, I want to show you that stunt I was talking about earlier. And what happens is you're going to find that sometimes these offensive linemen out here, particularly this one right here, this uh, this uh, right tackle, watch what he does too. Not all these, but watch what he happens here. All right, there we're going to zoom in a little bit. And what happens is if you look at the stunt that's going on, let's go zoom back out here. See the stunt right there? There's the stunt as we go ahead and look at this. The stunt between the right end and the, the nose tackles right here, that's where you're seeing the stunt. And I believe what happens is the offensive lineman gets a little confused on who's they're blocking when you do this. And ultimately, because all that's going on, you got all this congestion going on, they cannot compensate for who they got to block because there's just so many people in there. So you end up getting that pressure on the quarterback. And you remember earlier, I talked about this guy just a second ago, this uh, right tackle right here as you're looking at it. So you see the right tackle as you're going through the screen here. And this right tackle right here, what he does is he doesn't do anything. He just stands there. He doesn't actually go into block. He doesn't come back in here and say, oh, shit, I, excuse my language. Oh, I got to block somebody. I didn't mean to cuss there. But at any rate, I'm sure we're all adults. We can handle it. But at any rate, um, he should be going to the inside and blocking, but he doesn't. He doesn't go inside the block there. And that right there allows us to get that inside pressure coming from the nose tackle. So that's kind of cool with that, the way it sets up. And then as you look at it, the rest of the coverage is pretty, you know, it's man-to-man. -man. You got uh, you got your defender right here as you look at it. You got your defender right here playing uh, QB spy right here. This guy right here is playing QB spy, which is nice because this allows us to – to watch the quarterback, plus we're in control of them, so we can watch over these uh, these crossing routes they might run or something like that and try to defend those. And that's why I said you might want to put your fastest linebacker in at the left-end spot when you make the subs because that will give you probably the best defender you can have as far as dropping back in coverage and moving him around. All right, so that's the setup there as far as with the cover one. Very, very simple. And what I want to show you, for example, let's go into another defense out of the uh, out of this particular formation, out of the 5-2 normal. So I want to show you something else you guys can do that's going to allow you. So look at the cover three. Here's the cover three defense, right? So let's go ahead and call that one. So we're going to call the cover three as you look at your screen, which is right here. And then we'll just run this against the uh, the same formation that we've been running this against on the, uh, on the offensive side of the ball. And we'll go into it right here, just run that mesh. So, again, it's the same setup. You go ahead and press left to go ahead and bring up the defensive line adjustments and go ahead and press down on the right stick. And then you're just going to go ahead and put this guy in QB spy. And there's the setup right there. And then you're just going to look to get pressure. And again, they break right through and you end up getting the pressure. So this time, as I said, I can't always going to promise it's going to come from the nose tackle, but it's definitely going to come from somebody. And let's go ahead and do the same setup again. Same thing. Again, go ahead and put him in QB spy. And let's watch and see if we get that same pressure. It's pretty consistent for the most part. Usually get somebody in. Now, I've got a bunch of guys falling down on that part, but you guys can see that, you know, for the most part, you're going to get some pressure. There, we just end up having a bunch of defenders getting blocked and getting chop blocked. But a lot of times, this will get the pressure on the quarterback. There we go again. Same thing. Two guys got in this time. So it's kind of nice because you can get pressure on the quarterback without having to do a whole lot as far as with this. Now, I will show you something else here in just a second as we go through this one. Let's go run another defense here. And you can make this more or less a three-man pass rush if you want, but I'll have to show you how to do that here in a second. So let's go ahead and run the um, let's go ahead and run the fire zone this time. This basically gives you a cover two look. So it's just the fire two out of the uh, out of the five two normal that we're going to run this time. And I'll show you another little setup that you can do with this one, or at least uh, something else you might want to do if you want to get a three-man pass rush from this. 
Generally, I go with a four-man pass rush, but you can certainly do a three-man pass rush. So let's go ahead and look at this. Same thing. We're going to go ahead and slant the defensive line to the inside. Go ahead and put him in QB spy. This time, I'm not going to stay in control of him. What I am going to do is stay in control of this guy right here. So we're going to let him rush, and then we're just going to drop him back ourselves. And then we end up getting, as you can imagine, only dropping dropping uh, eight defenders in the pass coverage while getting a, getting a pass rush with only three defensive linemen. So let's go ahead and look at this one. See, again, if you go back here and look at what I was talking about earlier with that slant, I think what happens is that defensive line can't handle, or excuse me, the offensive line can't handle all those guys going in, and it just gets confusing for the offensive linemen, and that's why someone always breaks free. If you really look at it, and I talked about that stunt, and I guess I didn't even realize when I've been doing this breakdown and when I was doing this play, I hadn't really ever realized it, but you really get two guys stunting to the inside. When you crash, you get this guy. This is the one I was really looking at when I was doing this. And plus, you get this guy, but then you also get this guy crashing to the inside as well. So what happens is the offensive lineman just cannot deal with the three interior linemen, cannot deal with this craziness that's going on here, and that's how you get the pressure. You're basically putting more, even though it's three on three, it's making it more difficult for the offensive lineman. And then if you look out here on the outside, as you're looking at it, you can see that the uh, the two the two tackles right here, in this case, they're both not doing anything to help out. Now keep in mind. This one was initially at least looking to block. I mean, he was out here looking to block me at least initially, but then I just dropped that guy back into pass coverage right at the last second. Let's look at one last thing with this setup. So, again, we're just going to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and blitz him down like I've been showing here. Go ahead and put this guy in QB spy. And then this one, we're just going to go ahead and put him in a, uh, in a rush, a fake rush. And then we're just going to do this. And then we're just going to see if we can get some. Well, I missed him, but you can see that we got in there again. So let's go and do it one more time. And that came from somebody totally different. Looked like that came from Bosa that time. So there's the setup right there. Same thing. And then go ahead and if you want to, just go ahead and put him in a fake blitz or whatever, fake rush, bluff blitz. And then just go ahead and drop him back into coverage. And you still get that same inside pressure. Again, the pressure came from the, in that case, came from the nose tackle. So hopefully this uh, this breakdown will kind of give you an idea of something you can do from the 5-2 normal that's going to allow you to get some pressure without really, honestly, you don't give up your coverages. And you're only, at, at worst case scenario, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have four guys rushing or you can go with three guys and hope that you get pressure with three. And like I said, I've had some luck with this one by getting some pressure up the gut. And as you look, the coverages here are pretty nice. You got all those guys, defenders dropping back. As you look at this one, we can kind of point them all out to you here. You're literally getting all these defenders dropping back in the pass cover. So you get eight defenders out of the 5-2 uh, normal. Obviously, the 5-2 normal, the downside of that is if you run a man defense such as the cover one, uh, you're going to have some mismatches, especially in the uh, slots and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. You might be better off running zone coverage with this 5-2 if you're going to run against spread formations. But at any rate, Hopefully, this is something you guys can use and take away from that will give you guys an opportunity to uh, to get some pressure out of the 5-2 normal without having to do a whole lot. Pretty simple, basic setup. And at least get a four-man pass rush out of it and possibly a three-man pass rush. So, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hey Madden Gamers, if you enjoy this Madden video or any other video, please subscribe to the Madden Guides YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching and for your support.